Hi everyone and welcome to the third and final video on the Euroflex range of vapor steam cleaners. Today we're going to be talking about our multi-purpose cleaners and these cleaners too will use a solid stainless steel boiler to do what? Create superheated steam. All right. Now what makes these units multi-purpose is the fact that they can clean floors and they can clean surfaces. But how do they do that? We provide extra tools and accessories to be able to clean surfaces. But before we look at those, I just want to revisit how do we upsell the customer from the floor steam cleaner to the multi-purpose steam cleaner. Think back to the first video when we talked about questioning the customer. The five main reasons why a customer will want to upgrade to the multi-purpose cleaners are if they want to do chemical free cleaning or they might already use steam on the floor and they want to do hygienic, use hygienic, hygienic steam throughout their whole house or if they are pets children or asthma sufferers in the home, or they may have a lot of towels and they won't, may want to clean the grout, they will need the towel grout tool. And finally, during this pandemic, people are being extra vigilant with their cleaning habits. So they just might want stronger uh, cleaning appliances. So those are the five reasons why you want to talk to the customer about uh, multi-purpose cleaners. All right, they've come in two styles. Number one is the barrel model, the Vapor M6S. This one here is going to be released in a couple of more months. Uh, it replaces the current red version that's in the stores. Um, however, we have upgraded the tools so the, tool, the tools are a little bit more robust. All right. Then we have our recently released Vapor M4, M4S hybrid model. So this unit here is, is the same shape as the floor steam cleaners from the other video. So everything I said in the previous video applies to this model here, including getting the bonus carpet sled. So that will clean your floors, but in a couple of quick clicks, this unit converts to a portable steam cleaner. And now we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some live demonstrations. But before I do that, I just want to ask the question. For those of you that have towels, if you have cleaned the surface of the top, let's say using a, a vapor steam cleaner, are the entire floors clean? Now, my camera person is doing this and nodding yes. No, the entire floors are not clean. Because if you have used a mop in a bucket, or Lord forbid, if you have used one of those spin mops, all the dirt has been pushed into the grout, so your floors are not entirely clean. You need to check this out, all right? Let's do some, some demos. When you're doing tight airs, you want to pop on your detail nozzle. Look at the steam pressure that comes out of that. This is the strongest tool because all the steam comes out of one opening. So you're going to use this to get into tight areas like sliding door and window traps, shower screens, inside your drain holes, underneath your taps, underneath your, rub, your toilet bowl. So any tight area, you use this detail model. All right, if you need a bit of a scrubber, you have a little um, circular brush there. These brushes um, will provide the friction when you're scrubbing. You can actually replace these brushes. But when you're doing the towel grout, you're going to pop on the dedicated towel grout tool. This tool has bristles to help agitate the dirt out of the grout, and the steam pressure pushes the dirt out. Now have a look at this. So, you steam, and then you wipe clean. So, the pressure is pulling all that dirt out of the grout. Now, would you want your, your towel grout to look like this? or like that. Now, doing the towel grout is a very labor intensive exercise. Just take a couple of square meters every week that you do the cleaning and then once all the grout is clean, your floors are going to look brand new. They're going to look bellissimo. Now, we're going to take the unit and we're going to clean some windows and mirrors. So, follow me. We have a dedicated window uh, and, and, and mirror cleaner here. The tool has four holes where the steam jet will come out. It's got a little squeegee brush there, and it's also got um, a soft uh, rubber uh, edge there. I use the rubber edge to scrub the outside of the glass where the dirt is a lot heavier. But for the inside of the glass, I just use the steam on its own. Put an old towel down because there will be, will be a little bit of moisture runoff. My preference is to steam the glass from top to bottom. I like to take the uh, window tool off the steam gun, squeegee the glass, wipe the blade. Squeegee the glass, wipe the blade each time. Now, if you're like me and you don't squeegee very well, you just take a microfiber cloth 
and you wipe dry. Now, because we're using just water, water doesn't streak. So you don't end up with that oily film left behind by the window cleaners. You never get any streaks. How good is that? All right, let's take the unit into the kitchen and clean the kitchen area. So follow me into the kitchen. So you also get um, a small brush here. The small brush has got some bristles. You can use those bristles to help remove soap scum from shower screens or shower tiles. Or you also get this little fitted pad and you can buy a lot more extras of these. Uh, some people like to call it a sock. So, polyurethane kitchen covers, lava steam, stainless steel fridges, range hoods, your splash bath, all your white goods, stone and marble bench tops. All right, chrome loves the steam. So after you've st steamed everything, you just take a good quality microfiber cloth and you wipe dry. Now, the beauty, so you wipe dry for every, everything. So it's a two-handed process, you're steaming and wiping dry. Now, the beauty of you using steam is that we're not using any chemicals and detergents. The science of, um, of chemical-free cleaning is the fact that when you use a cleaning product, they leave a residue. Not only do they make the look of the surface look dull, but that, that residue starts to build over time. And the science is that the residue forms the glue that the dirt sticks to. So if that surface has never had a cleaning product, the dirt just slides out easier and faster. So when the cleaning gets done faster and easier, you're going to enjoy it more. In fact, you're even going to be singing about it. Vapore, oh, 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 oh. Now, so this is the modern way of cleaning using just hygienic steam. All right, the method is that all the heat is coming out from that distance there from the, uh, from the accessory. You need to make contact with the surface that you're cleaning because you want to maximize the heat transfer onto that surface that you're cleaning. Now, if there was ever any doubt as to the intensity of the heat on superheated steam, I'm going to take this little um, biscuit tray, my little biscuit tray, and I'm going to put that on top of there, and look how quickly that has softened, all right? So if there's ever any doubt as to the intensity of superheated steam or the type of steam you want in your house, always remember that demonstration there. The final model is our barrel steam cleaner. This is on wheels and it actually looks like a little vacuum cleaner. You wheel it, you wheel it around behind you like a vacuum cleaner. It has the same tools and accessories as the hybrid model, but it has a bigger boiler, 1.2 liters. So it's got double the running time, approximately 40 minutes. Now, I like to recommend this for larger homes, larger families, or where the cleaning job is a big cleaning job. I also like to recommend this unit for elderly people or uh, those with physically uh, with a physical impairment. Now, older people sometimes they have you know a bit of arthritis in the wrist or um, osteoporosis in the shoulder or anybody that has a uh, a physical impairment. This unit is a little bit better. Why? Because the wand here is a lot lighter. The floor brush is a lot lighter. All right. So older people sometimes prefer prefer this one because it maneuvers a lot quicker and easier as opposed to the push pulling motion of the upright models. I also recommend this for vinyl and, and linoleum floors because again, um, the wand is lighter, the, the floor head is lighter, and it glides a little bit better over uh, vinyl and linoleum flooring better than the upright models. The last thing I just want to talk about is the common user errors. Obviously, failing to uh, read uh, the instruction manual. Um, you don't want to overfill the boiler. You definitely don't put anything in the boiler other than tap water. Otherwise, you void the warranty. The green lights on the units will fluctuate on and off as the thermostats cut in and out to save your, save your own power costs. And finally, for this unit here, if the customer stops cleaning for, say, 10 minutes, the steam in the holes gets cold, recondenses back into water. Customer comes back, they should drain that moisture inside the holes in the sink and then resume the cleaning and the dry steam will just flow as per normal. That's it from me. I hope this has been a little bit educational. The last thing I want to say is that my non Amelia used to always top up spaghetti bolognese with freshly grated parmigiano reggiano cheese. Salute everyone. Arrivederci.